Unit 4. Listening. Pre-listening. Discuss. Do you like motorcycles? Or you can call them bikes? Yes. Why yes? I like them because riding them gives you a sense of freedom that you don't have in a car. Also, they are more convenient, more suitable in traffic when there are a lot of cars moving down the road. Driving or riding a motorcycle can be convenient, very good. You can get faster to your destination and easier to park than cars. If you say no, one of the reasons is that when you ride a motorcycle, you are exposed, not protected to the elements like rain, heat, cold. You can't control the temperature of the bike. Moreover, riding a motorcycle can be dangerous, that is a fact, and if you are involved in an accident, you could be seriously injured, God forbids. What kind of events? Events, interesting things that happen, do you think take place, happen at a motorcycle rally? Now, I believe the first thing that will come to your mind when you read motorcycle rally is this, when you drive your motorcycle off-road in a race, which is not what we mean. What we mean by motorcycle rally is a huge gathering for motorcycle enthusiasts. Thousands of people who have motorcycles go to the motorcycle rally. Some of them race, some of them don't. Some of them just show off their bikes. Uh, some of them can customize their bikes, buy a new bike, sell your bike. So it's hard to guess, but I would imagine that races take place, maybe organized exhibitions, exhibitions when you show off your bike, or look at new motorcycles. Now, listening for specific information. You are going to hear a radio program about a motorcycle rally. You will hear the program in several parts. After each part, you will hear some questions. For each question, choose the correct answer. First, listen to the introduction and note the example question below. This is an example. Where is the question? You will not read the question, you will hear it. So now I will play the recording, listen to the recording, and then listen to the question, and then choose an answer. This is an example, so you know that the correct answer is A. Ready? Hello everyone, I'm Larry Q, and thanks for tuning in to Radio Ride, the ideal program to listen to while you're on the road. Today I have the pleasure of being at the 68th Annual Sturgis Motorcycle Rally in Sturgis, South Dakota. Example. How often does the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally take place? The correct answer is A. Every year. Do you get it? Here is the question you heard. You did not see it, you heard it. How often does the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally take place? And this was the part of the radio program that you listened to. It happened annually. Annually means every year. This is why the correct answer is A. It happens annually. Now, read the tip before you continue. Remember that you hear the program only once and that the questions are recorded and not printed. You will not read the questions. You will hear them. Read the options quickly before you hear each section of the program so that you can predict, you can expect the questions and focus on the corresponding. Corresponding means similar in character the corresponding, the similar parts of the program. Listen to each question carefully and make sure that you choose the option which answers the question according to what you have heard. 
don't work on a question while the next question is being spoken. If the recording is playing, don't work on the previous question. Leave it. Just move on and focus on the recording, okay? Now, you have three parts. After listening to each part, you will listen to the corresponding questions. You will hear a part, and then you will hear three questions, then you choose the correct answer, then you move on to the next part. Are you ready? Good luck to all of you. It's a hot, sunny day, and there are thousands of motorcycle fanatics enjoying the festivities here. I'm here with Dave a Sturgis native who has been attending this rally for over 50 years. Dave, tell us a bit about the rally. Hey Larry, welcome to Sturgis. Well, the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally actually began with a small motorcycle race 68 years ago. Now it is a huge event that draws over 500,000 people to our small town for an entire week in August. Motorcycle fans from all over the country come for the breathtaking rides through the beautiful Black Hills of South Dakota. But there are also other events like bike shows and races that keep the guests occupied. I bought my first motorcycle at the 1950 rally and have been coming ever since. And as long as I'm able to ride, I will keep coming, that's for sure. 1. Where is Dave from? Two, where do people attending the motorcycle rally come from? Three, how long has Dave been coming to the rally? Now, prepare yourself for the second part. Well, it definitely seems like an exciting place to be, especially if you like motorcycles. The rally lasts an entire week. What kind of events take place during the week? And also, where do all these visitors stay? Well, every day there are organized rides around the Sturgis area. Groups of riders head out to the Black Hills, like I mentioned before, and also into the Badlands National Park. These are day rides which usually begin at around 9 a.m. and end around 6 or 7 p.m. Also, there are stunt shows with professional riders, racers, motorcycle exhibits showing the latest and newest models and customized motorcycle stands. But don't worry, there are plenty of photo exhibitions that even the non-riders can attend. As for where to stay, most riders choose to camp. City Park used to be open to visitors, and that's where most people chose to camp in the early days. However, when they decided to close City Park, campgrounds started springing up in around Sturgis. Now there are enough to accommodate hundreds of thousands of visitors. However, there are also plenty of motels in the area for those that prefer a more comfortable place. 4. How long does the rally last? Five. How often are rides organized during the rally? Six, what events take place during the rally that may interest non-riders? Seven, where do most riders stay? Now, 
we move on to the third part. Well, thanks, Dave. You really are a rally expert. Now I'm moving on to what seems to be a pretty popular stand here at the rally, Bob's Custom Bikes. Hello, Bob. I'm Larry, and you're live on Radio Ride. Tell us a bit about yourself and your stand here at the Sturgis Rally. Hello, Larry. Well, I first attended the Sturgis Rally as a motorcycle rider about five years ago. I fell in love with the rides through the Black Hills and even raced in a couple of races. But my true passion was for customizing bikes, beginning with my own. I practically took my first motorcycle apart and added new parts and painted it, turning it into what I consider a work of art. Then I decided to open up a shop and do what I love doing for other people. Now I come every year to the Sturgis Rally to show off and sell my work. You'd be amazed at how popular it has become to customize your bike. Adding something special to your bike makes it stand out. It could just be painting a design on the body, or completely making it over by changing the handlebars, the wheels, the seat, etc. These bikes that I have here on display are all bikes I have designed and customized myself. About 10 of them are mine. I don't ride all of them though. Some I just feel are beautiful to look at. The rest of the bikes, the ones with the red stickers on them, are bikes that I have customized and are for sale. 8. What did Bob do when he first attended the rally? Nine. How many races has Bob taken part in? Ten. What did Bob do to his first motorcycle? Eleven. Which bikes at Bob's stand are for sale? Okay, four more parts. Get ready. Wow, you are a true artist, Bob. Best of luck to you. Now I would like to hear from some other riders. I see a man on a bike getting ready to start his engine. Hello, you're live on Radio Ride. Can you tell me a bit about yourself and why you come to the Sturgis Rally? Well, of course. My name is Tom Jones and I've been coming to the Sturges Rally for about 40 years now. I first came with a friend of mine and completely fell in love with the area and the rally itself. One ride through the Black Hills was all I needed to see why so many riders come to Sturges. I knew I had to come again, but with my own motorcycle. So I bought my first motorcycle and came the following year with two of my friends. 12. Who is Tom Jones? Thirteen. When did Tom first attend the rally with his own motorcycle? Now, questions 14 and 15. Tom, what attracts you and your friends to the rally? Well, there are a lot of people like me who love riding motorcycles and the Sturgis Rally is one of the biggest events. There's so much to do here. I've entered a few races and even came in fourth place a couple of years ago. I come every year with a group of my friends who all ride motorcycles. We call ourselves the Joy Riders. We ride every day and return and enjoy the festivities. I don't race anymore, but a couple of guys in our group do, and one of them, Sam Parker, actually performs motorcycle stunts here at the Sturgis Rally every year. 14. Who still takes part in races?
15. What does Sam Parker do at the rally? Sixteen and seventeen. I have heard that most of the people attending the rally stay at campsites. Since you have been coming here for so many years, you should have some good advice about where the best place to stay is. Well, yeah, there are so many different kinds of lodging available. Hotels, cabins, campsites, you name it. The first couple of times I came, I stayed at one of the motels, which wasn't bad because you have all your comforts. But the truth is that it's much more fun at a campsite. So much is happening around you and you get to meet so many interesting people from all over the country. The campsite we stay at is only a few minutes from the Sturgis main street. There's a mechanic on site, a laundromat where you can wash your clothes, and most important of all, lots of shade. You know, South Dakota can get pretty hot and dry in the summer. 16. Where did Tom stay the first time he went to the rally? 17. According to Tom, what is the main reason he likes the place he stays at? 17. Now, this is the final part. Thanks for talking to us, Tom, and good luck to all the joyriders. Now, I've also heard that here at Sturgis, you can join the mayor of Sturgis in the mayor's ride and even leave your own personalized message on a street of bricks on Main Street. Here to tell us a bit more is John Moser, a Sturgis native who works at the information booth here at the rally. Hello, John. Can you tell us a bit more about these two events? Hello, Larry. Well, there are a few things that make the Sturgis rally unique. First of all, what you said is true. You can actually join the mayor of Sturgis on a ride to Mount Rushmore and Custer State Park, which are both south of the town. This will be the sixth annual mayor's ride. Participants must first register and pay a fee of $160, and only 250 riders will be allowed to enter. For five years now, these rides have been full, and there have been complaints about limiting the number of riders so we are thinking of expanding the number in the future. The good thing is that all the profits from this ride go to the Sturgis Fire Department. Visitors to the rally can also commemorate their visit in stone by purchasing a brick on Main Street. You can simply choose to write your name and the date or a simple message, but it's a great way of preserving your participation here at the rally for future generations. Each brick costs $75. Here, let me give you one. You don't have to pay, it's a gift from me. Thank you, John, and thanks for talking to us, too. 18. How much does it cost to take part in the mayor's ride? 19. Where does the money from the mayor's ride go? 20. What is true about the commemorative bricks? 19. That means he is from Sturgis. 2. Where do people attending the motorcycle rally come from? 
They come from all over the country. Which country? The country in which you can find Sturgis. Sturgis is a city in South Dakota. South Dakota is a state in the United States of America. So they come from all over the United States of America. How long has Dave been coming? He bought his first motorcycle at the 1950 rally and have been coming ever since, ever since 1950. How long does the rally last? It lasts for a week, seven days. How often are rides organized during the day? Every day they organize rides and the rides start at around 9 in the morning until 6 or 7 in the evening so only one time a day every day. What events take place during the rally that may interest non-riders, people who do not ride motorcycles may like? Non-riders can attend photo exhibitions. Where do most riders stay? Well, in the past, they used to stay in City Park, but City Park is now closed, and since that time, campgrounds started springing up. Springing up means come into existence. Now, there are enough to accommodate hundreds of thousands of visitors, so in campgrounds. What did Bob do when he first attended the rally? When he first attended the rally, he raced in a couple of races. He raced. How many races has Bob taken part in? He said the first time he went to the rally, he raced in a couple. A couple means two. Well, he did this the first time. So maybe he went again and raced again. So two is the minimum. Maybe two, maybe more. What did Bob do to his first motorcycle? I practically took my first motorcycle apart. He moved its parts and added new parts and painted it. Which bikes at Bob's stand are for sale? Well, the ones with the red stickers on them are bikes that I have customized and are for sale. Who is Tom Jones? Now I would like to hear from some other riders. And he started speaking to Tom, so he is one of the riders. He is a motorcyclist. Motorcyclist is someone who rides motorcycles. When did Tom first attend the rally with his own motorcycle, not somebody else's? Well, after he visited the rally the first time, he knew that he had to come again, but with his own motorcycle, so he did it. He bought his first motorcycle and he went to the rally the next year, the following year. One year after the first rally. Who still takes part, participates in races? I come every year with a group of my friends who all ride motorcycles. Some of the guys in Tom's group who said this, Tom. What does Sam Parker do at the rally? He actually performs motorcycle stunts. That's what he does. Where did Tom stay the first time he went to the rally? Well, the first couple of times, not only the first time, he stayed at one of the motels. What is a motel? It's like a small hotel which is cheap. Small and cheap hotel. According to Tom, what is the main reason he likes the place he stays at? Well, the most important thing is the shade staying away 
from sunlight. How much does it cost to take part in the mayor's ride? It costs around $160. Where does the money from the mayor's ride go? Well, the good thing is that all the profits, profits means the money they make from these races, from the ride, go to the Sturgis Fire Department, fire station. What is true about the commemorative bricks? Commemorative bricks are bricks that you write your name on or anything you like to help you remember this when you go again or to make people see that you have been to this event. What is true? We have three facts. Only one is true. Visitors to the rally can also commemorate. Commemorate is the verb. Commemorative is the adjective. When you commemorate, you do something that make you remember someone or something. Their visit in stone by purchasing. Purchasing means buying. You buy a brick. So, is it free of charge? No, that is not true. Because you buy the bricks on Main Street. Is it correct that you have, you must write your full name? Well, in here, you can simply choose to write your name. You can choose. It means you don't have to do it. So, what is true is that they are placed on Main Street. On Main Street. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I will see you again next time, inshallah. Goodbye.